Hey everyone, it's Lenny with Literary Gladiators. Today I'm going to be talking about the book called The Shadow by James Patterson. Now, if you're a fan of pulp, uh, pulp stories from the 1940s, 1930s, things like that, um, the old detective stories things, uh, of that nature, then you may think of the shadow, um, like the Orson Welles radio character, you know, the shadow knows. Um, and you would be right in thinking that. In fact, that's the one reason I picked this book up. I said, oh, it's a shadow. I wonder if this is Lamont Cranston, you know, the mysterious detective of the 1930s, 40s, has the power to cloud men's minds. Um, and it was, <laughs> but it was in a very James Patterson way. Um, in, and by that, I mean, James Patterson is not anywhere near my favorite author. In fact, I avoid his books with everything I can. Uh, I used to read the Alex Cross novels back when James Patterson actually wrote his own books, but even those got pretty, pretty poor after a while. So this book, it's by James Patterson and Brian Sitz, who I've never, never, never heard of, um, is pretty much on that category of not very good. So the story is Lamont Cranston. Well, first, I guess a little background on the Shadow character. The Shadow is a character, again, from the 1930s, 1940s, who was a detective. And um, if you ever get a chance, I would definitely look him up because the radio programs were great. The old pulp stories were fun. Um, and if you actually, there's even a movie, 1994, I want to say, with Alec Baldwin, which wasn't that good, but it's still kind of fun. Um, so the shadow and he his thing is like he can turn invisible uh, and he can like give suggestions to people with his mind, like using his powers. And his thing was it would always be like, you know, who knows? The shadow knows. And then he'd do this really long laugh, which I never understood why he laughed so much. But I guess it was supposed to be kind of scary for the criminals. Um, so he was like a precursor to modern superheroes. Um, all right. So you have the background, 1930s, 1940s. This book starts in 1937, where Lamont Cranston and his love interest, Margot Lane, are out to dinner and, and they get poisoned. Then we jump to the year 2087. And I almost stopped right there because why do we need to jump to 2087? Um, so it just went downhill from there. The character, it's like James Patterson and this Brian Sitz took the character of the shadow and decided, hey, let's make a whole new character, but we're going to use the shadow. It was just everything that was created about the shadow was different in here, except for his name and some characters. Um, just as an example, dude turns into a cat at some point. I mean, he never had shape shifting abilities before. Uh, and if you didn't hear that right, yes, a cat. Um, so it's really more of a YA novel because the main character, aside from the shadow, the main viewpoint character is a teenage girl and it's set in kind of a, a dystopian future, which I'm sorry, we don't need any more dystopian future books, especially because of, a uh, well, it's kind of over overwhelmed at this point. We have way too much of that. Um, so it's this future where this this main character who is now the world president, we don't have a different countries anymore. He's the world president and he's kind of got, it's set in New York, but he's got the like whole city on like a lockdown. People are basically prisoners. It's what you expect from a dystopian novel. And then this young girl gets this inheritance. The inheritance is literally the body of the shadow. Um, and he has to, figure out how to save everything. Uh, it, I don't recommend this book in any which way. It's just bad. Um, it's so bad that I've been rambling for about four minutes about how bad it is, and I apologize for that. But if you do like The Shadow or you like this kind of idea of what I told you it was, then I would definitely recommend finding any old pulp magazines. Um, you can find a lot of them online that have databases, watching the old show, uh, or excuse me, the old movie from 1994. Again, it's a little bit cheesy, but it's still fun. Um, and 
listen to the radio program because Orson Welles voices the shadow and he just sounds awesome. Um, sorry, this one's a little bit longer than my normal, but maybe it's me, but James Patterson should stop. That is that. That's how I'm going to end this. James Patterson should stop. Best selling author. I get it. But wow. All right, folks. Have a great night or day, whatever time you're watching this. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.